Well, I think the Psalms are, are like obviously God's worship play. Like you yeah. have, if you had a playlist, he'd like be like Psalms. You know what I mean? Right. It's like, these are my favorites, you know? And, um, and we get them for eternity. Like these are his favorites. And so much of them are about David's process. Right. And we've taken yeah. worship away from the process. And when we add the pro allow the process to be a part of our worship, that's the sacrificial part. Mm. Because there's no glory in sharing your process. Right. Nobody, like, it's usually like you get... Well, it's like, it's like Bono says, the Psalms are the blues. Exactly. Yeah. My point is like, if we are willing, one, uh, okay, so one of the craziest experiences I ever had was like going to a Kanye West show. Like, mm -hmm. because I think I've shared this with you maybe, but I went to see Kanye West, Kendrick uh, yeah, Lamar opened, yeah, Kendrick it. Lamar opened for mm -hmm. him, which hip hop is the new folk music. Yeah. Yeah. It is the new folk music. Yeah. Whether you like the style or not, it's kind of irrelevant. It is the new folk music. It represents culture so well right now. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, uh, not that it's all correct, it's just, right. it just is, you know, like folk music was. And my point being is Kendrick Lamar, the show we went to, like Complex Magazine, all these things are writing about it. He's halfway through his opening set in LA and he starts sobbing about how he just met Jesus again at his grandma's house with Kanye. Wow. Like in the middle of his set, wow. like Kendrick Lamar, like is <laughs> sobbing on the stage. You know, I'm sitting like six rows behind the Kardashians, like going, what in the heck is happening? <laughs> Kanye walks out, he wears a mask for his whole show, yeah. right? Like, wears this crazy thing, does this crazy thing with 12 prima ballerinas and this giant mountain, right? Long yeah. story short, halfway through the show, hasn't taken off the mask, falls to his knees, okay? Mm -hmm. The mountain splits in half and Jesus walks out. Like, mm -hmm. blonde hair, robe, right. Jesus walks out. For the first time in the whole show, three quarters of the way through, he pulls off his mask and he said, Jesus gets to him, and he, he says to Jesus, um, I'm so sorry, I've been such a bad man. And he says, Kanye, don't you know? This is a hip hop show, okay? Right. Yeah. Jesus has now split the mountain and walked out onto stage, right. okay? Yeah. Like this is like, what the, I'm like literally, there's, like, bu there's buttons going off all over my worship leader, Christian yeah. kingdom brain is yeah. like, right. boom, you know? Yeah. Like, you know, all this stuff. Walks out and he says, he says, Jesus, I'm so sorry I've been such a bad man. And he says, Kanye, don't you know, I didn't come here to make bad men good. I came here to make dead men alive. Yeah. <laughs> and then the beat for Jesus walks drops. And mm. then the show ends, he does his greatest hits kind of thing. The show oh. ends, the 12 prima ballerinas fall to their knees, lift their hands, and he has a song that has the Rolling Stones loop. You may not get what you want, but you get what you need. Mm. and just plays over and over. Wow. And as that plays, the prima ballerinas fall to their knees, lift up their hands in worship. The mountain, at the all the lights go to the top of the mountain and Jesus is standing at the top of the mountain. All the lights go out, just the lights on Jesus and the 12 prima ballerinas with their hands up in worship. Hmm. That's how the show ended. Like wow. a minute of this loop with Jesus at the top wow. of the mountain. Who's the church the has, the yeah. point is, is that the church has no grid for that. Right. Like there's not really a grid for someone who's in process. Yeah. Mm. Like we are yeah. all. That's good. I guess for me, I'm like, we're so busy killing people who are in process that those, yeah. the people that are me really messed up out there, mm -hmm. they feel like they don't even have a place in, in our communities right. because they just want a place. They want to love Jesus. They really do. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, there's very few people we come in contact with that are just hate God for the sake of hating God. Right. It's because yeah. of practical experience. Right. Yeah. And if we give them an on-ramp like that, yeah. if we just give them an on-ramp that makes sense to them, a person that's really trying, uh -huh. you know, and they're just, their edges are frayed and they're kind of broken, right. really broken, yeah. you know, and they're just in process. Yeah. I think they would feel safe if they do. They, they weren't going to get a blog written about them next week about how they're a horrible sinner. Because right. that's what we do to the people at the highest levels of our of our church systems. Yeah. They fall, and we have like a blog, a media post. We're ready to comment on it, but it's just not safe. Right. And in the context of worship, we give them a place to encounter yeah. a God who's ridiculously amazing. Yeah.